stop staring. He's the one who's staring, look. I'm Dima. Why don't you come to the villa for a small party tonight? The story starts in Marrakesh, and a couple meet this incredibly gregarious, bold, strong, masculine man. Dima is a war, which is a kind of, uh, a kind of mafia that comes from the prisons in the old Soviet system. The war it will kill my family if you don't help me. Help you? What can I do? Dima sort of recognizes something in Paris, clearly looking for someone to help him. He's in dire danger. He and his family are, are going to be murdered for sure if Perry doesn't help him. Give this to your MI6. You tell them you have a gift from the number one money launderer from the Russian Mafia. Dima sucks him into this extraordinary world, and Gail, because she's his wife, also gets sucked into it as well. I brought something over for Dima. Everything has consequences, Perry. This is maybe what Le Carre does best. He's put two civilian people into the world of espionage. He's plunked them right in the middle of this thriller. And that's really, really quite interesting. Because you do think, well, what, what would I do? How would I react in this situation? Dima doesn't trust us. He'll only deal with us if you and Gail are there. I can't get involved. I'm afraid you are involved. This is a very pared down plot. It's not a whodunit in any way. It's more of a, can they do it? So the suspense lies in a much more sort of Hitchcockian way. I can't guarantee your safety. They'll be coming after you. Then you'd better hurry. What made this stand out for me was that it's a very modern story. It says something about the modern world. It's not a Le Carre of the 50s or the Le Carre of the 60s. It's, it's a Le Carre for now. There's this kind of old world elegance about the Le Carre world, which is really beautiful. And the intellectual intrigue of the whole thing, of kind of working out and piecing together the story, I think people find that really fascinating as well. His books are about the human condition and the way people betray each other, love each other, kind of turn on each other, and, and much more human kind of um, concerns than just, you know, spy action. Why did you choose me? This film touches on real problems in our society today, which makes it important. What we're dealing with really interestingly is a great deal of corruption in politics and in business. And more and more of that is being unearthed. It's great to have these kind of themes that are troubling us today in our society played out in films. You have betrayed your country.